guys. Well, today I'm going to be answering the most asked question, and that question is, why Cyan Jamaat? Well, um, it's a pretty simple answer, um, but there's also just more to just a simple answer. But I'll start with the main reason why you should install Cyan Jamaat onto your Android cell phone. Well, let's say your um, carrier or whatever is not really supporting your phone that well and you're stuck on Froyo. Well, that happens a lot. Let's say, let's use um, HTC as an example. Well, HTC came out with a lot of phones and they did not have very powerful processors like um, 700 megahertz, 500 megahertz processors. And their excuse was they would not install Gingerbread onto those phones because they were not a gigahertz processor and it wouldn't work. And so if you're stuck on Froyo or something, that'd be a reason why I would install CyanogenMod. Also, what's really dumb about HTC is basically they came out with newer phones with 800 megahertz processors and installed Gingerbread on there. So basically they're lying to you and just saying that. And yeah, so I don't appreciate that by HTC, but whatever. And um, yeah, so if you're stuck on Froyo and or whatever, and your phone is supported by Sanjumad, they will support you and give you gingerbread to install on your phone and all the um, other f um, versions of uh, Android that will be coming out in the future. Um, I don't know how much longer the older phones will be able to be supported, um, but I bet you they'll be able to support pretty long considering a 500 to 700 megahertz processor actually is kind of a lot for a phone. Yeah, so, yeah, if you're one of those people, that's a really good reason why you should install Saiyan Jamaat. Another reason would be, let's say you've got all this carrier junk on your phone. Let's say you've got like T-Mobile all over your phone and everything. Saiyan Jamaat will wipe that completely off. So you won't install and have your stupid T-Mobile tones and your T-Mobile logo coming up. That just takes extra time to boot and it's unnecessary and all it's going to do is just advertise to everyone that you've got a team mobile phone and blah 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 and that's not what really what you want so if you install CyanogenMod you won't have all that let's say you have an HTC or you have let's say a Samsung and you've got TouchWiz or you got HTC Sense and you don't like that and you can't get away from it well CyanogenMod will let you get away from that and you can have a standard ADW launcher that does not have TouchWiz or Sense. And if you do like Sense or TouchWiz, you can keep it on there. And there's so much you can do with Sanjimon. You can overclock your CPU on your Android. So basically I had a 560 megahertz processor and I cranked it up to 770 megahertz. And my thing flies. It's the HEC wildfire. It flies now. Um, and it already has more CPU um, power than the new one that they actually came out with, the HTC Wildfire S. And I doubt that's actually even faster than mine. Yeah, so that's definitely a great reason. So you can overclock your CPU, you can also underclock it if you're trying to save battery and whatever. Um, I've had lots of complaints, people saying like, oh my, um, as soon as I installed CyanogenMod, my phone has um, running out of battery. Well, you're doing something wrong because it's still Android. It doesn't do anything else other than, let's say, you mess around with it and screwed it up. If you overclock it, of course, it's going to take more battery. But I mean, if you don't do anything to it, I've got a week out of my phone, and that's even more than what I had before. So that's definitely not an issue. Um, sometimes you'll have some bugs with the GPS, but usually they fix those. And there's always a version that does support every single hardware um, in your phone. So if you don't want to install the latest version because you're scared something will work, install the earlier version. That's fine. Yeah, so I mean CyanogenMod will support you for much longer than what your carriers will do. And that's definitely a great reason. I mean, also with CyanogenMod it's so cool you can customize everything. You can customize the way your applications flip and the way they pop up and you can also mess around with your font. You can also um, change how your drop boxes come down. You can change how you scroll and you can change the basically the weight of the 
letters scrolling up and down so that it has a cooler effect. You can also add themes. You can have green themes, blue themes, red themes. You can have lights glowing from the bottom. You can do everything. It's really cool. Also, on the lock screen, you can have like a um, four unlocks instead of just two, instead of like the silent and the unlock. You can have the unlock, silent, an application that you want it to open, which I had as Messenger so I could look, check out my SMSs, and a phone so I can directly open my phone without having to unlock phone. Basically, much faster and easier because that's what you do on your phone. You get phone calls, that's all you want to do. So you swipe it and you got your phone open. That's really cool and it makes it way more practical with CyanogenMod. So I really hope this helped you guys decide if you want to install CyanogenMod or not. It's not hard to install. All you got to do is root your phone. That's usually the tricky part, but once you're past that, it's just easy. All you do is just stick it on your SD card and go into the bootloader and install the zip. And you're done, and you have CyanogenMod. And yeah, so definitely install CyanogenMod if you're one of those people that are not being supported or if you just have an Android phone. If I was still supported, I'll still download CyanogenMod. It is just so cool. You can customize everything. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot guys for watching my video. Um, so there's going to be a link to the CyanogenMod website below and see if your device is supported. Um, also follow me on Twitter. I really appreciate that and subscribe to me. That really helps me out and it'll help me um, get more motivated to make more videos. I really appreciate that and I'm um, yeah, I really do appreciate all you guys that have subscribed to me lately. And um, you guys definitely helped me, gave me lots of tips, and I've been getting real better at this. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. So definitely subscribe, follow me on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.